All right, hello everybody. This is SBK brings you a brings you brings you an undead replay. This is a this is not from any tournament, as you can see. This is from this is for NGL one um, season six. But uh, I'm not doing this because I'm following NGL tournament. I'm doing this because I try to balance my replay uh, <laughs> replay variety, if you, if you will. Because uh, a user pointed out that uh, I, I don't, I do not, I do not have that many undead replays. I focused on uh, human and night elf too much, maybe a little, um, and orc sometimes, but not too many undead replays. Therefore, I'm casting uh, the king of the undead, uh, as uh, as they say in China, world elite, world elite Pepsi, Ted T D. Ranked about, I think he's ranking number. Uh, he's he's ranked top uh, top five uh, according to Gosu Gamer dot net. He's a uh, highest ranked uh, undead player. So uh, I'm going to I'm looking forward to cast some of his games and some undead builds. Apparently, I, I'm I'm quite familiar with undead, so I I can tell you what uh, what they're going for. Maybe some strat or build I can explain. Uh, looks like uh, this is a econ heavy undead build here from Ted. You put down, you throw down a uh, altar and ziggurat and then a uh, crypt. That's the econ build. Yeah, he's looking to get some high tech units. Now he's getting queue up two goals and he, the death knight pops out of this uh, altar. He's going to buy a <coughs> excuse me. He's going to buy a uh, staff of necromancy. And meanwhile, well, this is uh, his opponent is wicked Todd. Uh, for those of you who don't know him, I believe he's French, and he's one of, one of the better human players in, in Europe. And he he's a purple human spawning at uh, one o'clock on Secret Valley. And Todd is a yellow undead player spawning at seven eight, eight o'clock on, on Secret Valley. And like I said, this uh, Death Knight has to go on go to do some uh, creep jacking with uh, with uh, some uh, death coils and maybe he can kill a sheep nope he's not gonna he's not going to bring over two skeleton warriors he's going to creep jack with his death coil and meanwhile I believe that Todd has gone for Mountain King you should see enough against undead maybe not uh, I've seen Sky try to do try to uh, uh, Pepsi uh, World e, uh, WE uh, Pepsi Sky has gone for Paladin against undead but that wasn't successful um, if you go pal if you go on pal, then you had to abuse your holy holy shield. Um, but uh, that wasn't successful. And let's see if Mountain King can cast a storm bolt on that, that on Death Knight. No, he's not. I, I guess it's a logical choice to storm bolt your uh, storm bolt the undead uh, undead hero. Um, and sto storm bolt the Death Knight before they before they he cast a death coil on your creeps. <coughs> Excuse me. And level two Mountain King, and that this Death Knight still had no experience to his uh, to his knowledge. So it's very inexperienced uh, hero. <laughs> uh, I don't know how how that's how long that's gonna last. And I believe yeah, Ted. This is a build that Ted loves a lot against human. He he will pull all his umber goals after he start taking tier two and throw down a Ziggurat. Oh, I'm sorry, a Crypt. And uh, he's going to do some. Um, I believe. Um, um, what do you call those things? Oh, gargoyles! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> and he's going to do some gargoyle push uh, in tier two. And we see Todd has uh, suspecting this and put down a arcane tower and start a lumber mill. And I believe uh, Ted is going to do some harassment in this uh, economy. Killed about uh, one, two peasants, and uh, Todd has to TP back to defend against this. And and uh, Ted is gonna Ted is gonna back off, and the Arcane Tower finish. So the Arcane Tower is gonna help with defend against the Skeleton Warriors, but uh, not not as not so not not so much against Goals. Um, a Goal is gonna get uh, yeah storm bolted and bashed, and that's gonna hit Mountain King to level three. Meanwhile, I believe yeah Todd is going for fast expand, and be, uh, let's see if uh, let's see if Ted catches Todd fast expanding. This is, this is important for undead players, for those of you who are out there playing undead. It's very important for you to catch human, uh, catch human fast expand. It, uh, it is important for every race, but uh, especially undead, because it's so hard for undead to pick up uh, expansion. Not, not so much again, not so much for Night Elf or uh, 
or um, work. But uh, Undead is so hard to pick up expansion because you need to you need to throw down a uh, throw down so many towers and a uh, hundred gold mine, then maybe a uh, maybe a main to to TP back for from and another storm bow lost. I think Ted lost about two goals there in that fight. Um, no, just one goal. Okay, that's that's pretty good for Ted. And Todd is going to yeah storm bow and storm bow these goals as they retreat. Mankin is about 30% to level 3 and I believe Ted is going to is going to send all his goals back to Lumber and two gar first two gargoyles comes out the gargoyles are so expensive if you uh, if, uh, if you don't uh, for those of you who never gone gargoyles the gargoyles are so expensive on gold it's a uh, it's a uh, ridiculously expensive you <laughs> you need a if, if you lose gargoyles it's like it's like you're losing mining pretty much Anyway, these gargoyles incoming, they, they're going to harass this uh, uh, scout tower, I believe the scout tower needs to be repaired. I be, uh, no, he's throw down the scout tower, I think that's, uh, that scout tower is going to die. Okay, and uh, at the meantime, it's this footman to try to chase down this uh, death knight. And one gargoyle went down from a storm boat, and this uh, mountain king is just going to chill here for some reason. <laughs> and another gargoyle is incoming. Oh, excuse me. Gargoyles aren't that aren't that great against human. Uh, they're better against the they're better against night elf. Just do some harassment. Uh, but oh, this death knight is gonna get surrounded. I believe there. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Todd almost surrounded the death knight. In the meantime, this gar one gargoyle is gonna do a lot of harassment on on, on this gold line. I believe a lot of is gonna get some peasant kills. And Todd is hurry up. Let's try to hurry up and build a shop. But I believe he needs to push. He needs to get some uh, guard towers soon. Todd does does have enough. Um, um, there the guard tower. He did have enough um, resource to get to guard towers. But at the same time, if you're a human, if you had to throw down guard towers, oh, there's another. Oh man, th all these peasants are gonna die. If you're human, you, you get you get in towers instead of uh, in, before you you get your tier one. Before you get your tier two tech, that just that just the um, delay delay your tier two. Uh, tag so much because you uh, you spend lumber on the towers instead of uh, instead of getting tier two tier two tier two upgrades for humans uh, I, I think cost 210 lumber so every lumber is important for human and what another gargoyle died I believe Ted this, at this point has died, has lost two gargoyles and uh, that's not that's nothing compared to the number of peasants that human lost uh, Ted, Todd has lost. Let's see if these gargoyles keep the pressure on. There's no no upgrades on these gargoyles yet. Let's see what the Death Knight is gonna chase by the Mountain King. Death Knight needs to retreat, and I believe no Lich King is coming out. So, so uh, <coughs> Ted is going to stay with this uh, gargoyle push, and and the Mountain King has to use staff teleportation back and do some. Uh, uh nope he's uh, he did get rifleman rifleman is the right correct counter from human for the gargoyles at least in tier one and um which the Todd is in but uh, you can't stay at tier one for all game um you need to attack to tier two sometime unless <laughs> unless you're gonna fast you span all over the map in for as human at least I believe uh, Todd is gonna creep off this uh. Oh, it's going to creep out this orange camp outside the outside the fountain of health, but he lost a goggle in the process. Process, that's not good. The Death Knight hits level three. I believe Death Knight needs to be run. Nope, Death Knight is going to get surrounded. No, he's not going to get surrounded. <coughs> Death, <coughs> Death Knight does have a TP on him though.